cubes. And there we go. Go, go, go. Okay, he's on his way to the middle of the field. You're done with. You're good. Uh, we could probably empty him now. And take a drive back to the yard. Yes, indeed. I didn't check the digester level, so, uh, well, I guess, oh, uh, someone's finished. Challenger's finished doing its ploughing. That's annoying. Although I do, that's the, I mean, the other way to look at it is I've, I've now got two fields ready to plant rye in. Or, well, run one pit field ready to plant rye in. But I don't have any rye seeds. So we would have to come shopping. I am liking the uh, the on on storm off poop 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 Farm Sim 22 on farm storage units where you can place a thing that you can put seeds in. Oh, don't do that. Oh. So you can yeah. um, you can unload your seeders into it. Um, you can purchase seed at a slightly increased cost and reload your cedars from it. So you've got these storage facilities on the farm so you don't have to drive halfway across the map to the store and juggle big bags. The seeds de are delivered to you and then you, can, you don't have big bags sitting around in the yard. They're all... Um, all the seeds stuck in a, a storage silo. Now obviously if if we get the realistic cedar mod in Farm Sim 22 that may be a little bit of a more logistical issue for you because seed is not generic it's then um, you know you've got wheat seed you've got barley seed you've got canola seed so you have to track each individually and oh, just not enough room. There we go. Fortunately, I didn't knock the other end. So, another 48,000 litres of stuff. Turn that off. And you've driven into a hedge. Good job. I can probably do a little bit with this plough myself and then we'll let loose with the case again. <coughs> yeah, because I don't have any rye available, it may be worth me just heading out and um, putting the oil seed in that other field that we just ploughed. <laughs> And it really won't take long with a 12 meter cedar. As I said, it's not a direct cedar, so. I can't use it to rip up a field and plant something new. <laughs> Maybe that won't be an issue. And once we've finished ploughing here, don't know how long the cultivation is going to take in that field. He seems to be doing okay. Okay. And it doesn't want to rotate. There we go.
Yeah, I wonder if I can set this off back on the worker again. Not an easy plow to manoeuvre. Off you go. See if you can manage that for a while. Um, you're doing your thing. Okay, you're getting filled up. So, what I'm thinking is... Let's zoom out a bit so we can see stuff. Field 24 is 186,000. Um, it would go well with... 26, 25, I've also got 27 though. See, this block of three fields, I am thinking I'm going to plant the same things in all of them. They're going to be sunflowers. 24, the problem is, is the access to 24 is either through 23 or through 25. So if I planted 24 with the same stuff, it's going to give me a big harvest in those four fields. Much like I'm looking at a big harvest in 1, 2, and 3. I could buy 19 as well. We're putting... S I'm looking at sugar beets over here. And then this isolated field here, canola. And we're going to be planting canola soon. What's in that field at the moment? Uh, okay, that's oilseed radish. Those two fields were had digestate spread, and that's got oilseed radish in it. Oh, decisions, decisions. I could again do 27 as barley corn. We did that last year. 19... What are the field states as well? That's growing. Ugh, what are you growing with? Not that. Potatoes? No. Barley? Yes. Oh. Now there's a thought. This is growing barley, 19. If I bought that field before it's ready to harvest, we could harvest it and put corn straight in it. Get another maize harvest. Well, we did that last year. Anyway, fields that I could buy. Um, we've got 300,000, so that is out of the question. That's out of the question. That's possible. I think maybe some of these fields at the end might be possible, but really... Um, this field is an outlier. This field's kind of a little bit of a problem for me. It's worth 334. Okay, I'm going to buy 24. That's a start. And we're not going to buy any more fields. So this field now needs um, an analysis. That field is low because we haven't cultivated it yet. That's okay. Um, so we could bring out the Valtra and go and analyse that field. And then... Uh, then... Uh, do some other stuff. Okay. So what are we doing? What have we got going on? You're ploughing. You're going to be done soon. That's a problem. I think I set this off at a bad angle, so uh, we have a giant wedge in the middle of the field. As I said, you're going to be done soon. You're going to be needed for tidying up. So you are the only tractor I have free. Okay, let's stick the scout on the back. Go check some dirt. Of course, the other thing is we're getting close to uh, crop selling time as well. We 
which is the time when the farm makes a ton of money. Oh, bounce. But we're definitely going here with our uh, our main philosophy, land makes money. So at every opportunity we have, if we can buy more land, that's a good thing. Last year I actually borrowed the money to buy the, uh, the isolated field. And I basically went there because it had barley in it and we'd already deduced that hey, if we plant barley and harvest it there's enough time to plant corn and forage it. This field, this field previous was an oil seed. Hang on. Um, I may be saying wrong things here. What were these two fields? Um, oh. Oh, it doesn't tell me what they had. I. I'm thinking about it. These fields might have been sunflowers. Oh, I might have just blown it. These fields were sunflowers. These are the fields I want. Mm. Okay, whatever. Let's get back in the tractor. Still going to uh, analyze that field at the top. So this farm track was one I put in myself, which actually gives me some separation from the field on the other side of the hedge. So we don't have cultivators strolling through it. But this field here does not have a pathway to the next field up, which is little bit of a problem because the entrance is over here but it's not isolated us uh, so I will be able to get a, um, a what's it through there um, a harvester header okay how do I how does this thing work again um, like that good start Alrighty, let's go analyze some ground. Check out the dirt. this point the amount it costs to do this job really not too worrying when you're starting out you kind of want to be as efficient as possible when analyzing your soil so that you don't waste too much money but analyzing a circle it's always going to be a little bit of a problem because there's no easy way to not overlap quite significantly in parts of your field.
little wedge at the top I've now missed. Pretty sure. Possibly more than a little wedge. Stop rolling. thing is, is once you've got the edge of the field outlined, you just need to fill in the bits in the middle. It should be good for the edge. So there's a little bit over here. OCD do I want to be here? We'll head over here. That tree is going to be a problem. Although this patch of grass here isn't part of the field. So maybe not too much of an issue when this bit didn't get done. But that should map out most of the field. If we now look at it, oh, let's look at it there. So I might have missed a little bit out there, but I think for the most part we've got that done. So send the soil samples off, we can fold that up. So what was I saying? This field was previously grass, oil seed. It was okay. So maybe I'm not doing sunflowers next year. Maybe okay. Here's the plan. I'll put sunflowers in thirty-one. And then I will do these three fields as canola. Because I think they're due for oilseed next year. And canola I can plant early. Um, sunflowers I don't plant till next year. So 27, I'm... Mm, 27 will do as... Uh, as everything else we're doing in these four fields. So no plan, uh, that, that then means no plans to come out here and plant the rye today. And I'm gonna have to buy a whole ton of rye pallets because we've got a lot of rye to plant. That's gonna be a pain because I think the flatbed trailers in use and I'm gonna need the Land Rover and its little trailer to uh, go buy seeds anyway done with the Valtra for the day yay and we are up to 11 o'clock real time 2 o'clock in the afternoon so work is happening and everybody who I set to do tasks thinks they're done I think they're not. So I'm going to plant part this thing up. I think I'll take a look at our truck. Our truck is over there. Our truck should be full. Again. So when I've got a free five minutes, I can drive it down to the BGA. Yeah, that's full.
But the BGA Digester is going to be perfectly happy where it is at the moment. lowered position. I probably should have raised it while we're driving around on country lanes and uh, roadways. <coughs> anyway, well that was a fail. that f okay the Ivor Williams is empty so we can hitch that up to the Land Rover go buy a ton of rye not a problem okay you are in a hedge again because why not um, I think as far as plowing is concerned we are very close to done with this as I said we've got that wedge there. Um, bit at the bottom. I could probably swing round. Uh, we'll take the plow. And I might just be bad. We'll lower that there. Swing that up here. I'll then follow the uh, hedgerow round and do another row at the top of this field. Then I think we'll probably finish it off with the case because it's just going to be easier. this wedge. What I should be doing is actually getting the class uh, back into the main segment of the field and have it continue under a worker. Maybe that would be a plan. What do you mean you're done? Alright. Okay. That's got him working again. So, yay for that. Also, there's probably a segment of this field over there that also needs ploughed. So, we might look at that with the Challenger before we leave. Round here. Where's the bit I missed? I can't even see it. Wow. As I said, good working width on this plough, so it does get a lot of stuff done in one pass. One of the reasons I like it, it's. definitely a good working width for a tractor this size. And a bad working weight for a farm like Old Stream, which uh, you put this down in the field and you're pretty much done. Alrighty. Uh, there's really not much to do here. get um, probably just this edge as soon as we get to the edge of the field we'll go how's the uh, oh he's he decided to go back the way he came okay Good workers these days uh, 
sometimes there's just no understanding them. So yeah, frankly, I did not mean to plough that field up, and I should have put oilseed radish in this field because... Oh, that's right. It's going to say oilseed radish was the last thing here. No, previous crop was a cereal. So I'm supposed to be planting sunflowers in here, which means I shouldn't be ploughing this up until spring. That's that's the stupid I did. So what we can rescue that. We'll just do uh, canola instead. Which means we're going to have a ton of planting to do right now in the next two, three days. And we're going to have a ton of harvesting to do next summer. Anyway, it is what it is. And we'll put, as I said, we'll put sunflower over by the field near Oak Glen Farm. And I might have a recovery there in the, once we've sold all our crops and we have a ton of crops to sell. Um, we may be in a good position to um, buy another field over there, possibly one that's super expensive, and then we can have at least two fields of sunflowers over on that side of the map. Might even be worth buying Oak Glen Farm just so that we can use the uh, silo there. Put that away. I'm not going to clean the tractor because it's not finished working. All right. also like that you can put this plow away in travel mode whereas the smaller plows you have to park on their sides okay that's gonna be a little tricky there good parking but I'm not sure having it flush up against the fence is a wise move that's close enough. How are we doing at the tail end? Uh, we've got a foot or two to go. And drop that there. Let's go fetch a planter. Cedar thing. Oh, hang on. Ah. I forgot, I don't have the lambkin cedar. Come on, open it. Uh, you're the planter, you're the cedar. Okay, 